Remember, there is no I in team, but there is an I in my name. Eh? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you a little trick that can save you a lot of time, energy, and headache for when you're dropping a trailer. And that's dropping a trailer to be loaded. The last thing you want to do is lower your landing gear all the way down because when they fully load this thing, your truck isn't going to have the ability to lift the trailer up so that you can get underneath it. So you want to make sure you give yourself about three to four inches of space before this touches the ground. If you don't, you're going to have to crank on this sucker all day long in low in order to get it back up. Okay. Several inches of gap. Hell, I might even be able to... Yeah, I can slide my cell phone underneath it. That's enough gap. I've loaded here before, and I've learned you do not lower your landing gear all the way down when they are loading your trailer fully loaded, full of liquid products. And we start the truck back up. Brake, gear, just the yellow. Leave the red out. Lower our suspension. Let it go down. Take our foot off the brake. Apply a little bit of gas. And we're clear. Then we turn our suspension back up. Over time, you'll learn just how low you can actually lower your trailer down. But you never want to lower it lower than this back bumper right here. If you do, you're not going to be able to get the truck underneath it. Even with the suspension fully compressed, if that bumper is not below this... can't remember what this is. The, the apron, I think, is what this was called. This little big-ass plate right here where the kingpin is. But if you're below that, you're not going to be able to get the truck underneath it. Then you're going to have to hand crank a fully loaded trailer up. And I had to do that once before when I was here. And I learned, don't do that. <laughs> so again, why did I do this? Because the trailer is fully loaded. And if I have that landing gear all the way down, and I try to back the truck underneath it, even if I get the truck underneath it, I need to lift the truck up so that I have a space under there so I can actually freely crank this thing. If I get the truck underneath there and I can't crank this thing, then I'm stuck, then I'm screwed. That's why I left a big gap so that I'm using the truck to lift the trailer up. Then you may get into a situation like this, where my fifth wheel did not go under. So now I'll pull forward, let all the air out and drop down. Now I've let the air out, and I'll come back here, and I'll push this down. And down. Okay. Reverse. Nice and slow. Shazam! Tug test. Repressurize the air. Repressurize the air suspension. And again, this is a really heavy load because every time I come here, they always load me to the max. That landing gear has to be off the ground, even a little bit. Otherwise, I won't be able to start cranking. Oh. Now, let's say you come back here and you screwed up. You got your calculations wrong, and this is now jammed. You did get the truck under it, but now you can't hand crank this. It's just way too damn heavy. What are you going to do? If you, pull, if you pull your truck forward, a lot of the times there's actually a little bit of a dip down right here about where the truck is. So if you can pull your truck forward, a lot of times you'll get just a little bit of a gap here and it'll release some of the pressure so that you can actually start cranking this. 
So if you can, just pull forward a little bit. Even if you have to drag the landing gear, just pull forward a little bit, come back here, try again. No good, pull forward a little bit more, try again. I found that that helps every single time that I've come into that problem anyway. So I hope that it does help and happy trucking.